Kia ora, good evening. Two people remain in hospital in Christchurch this evening after a knife-wielding attacker went on the rampage. One of the two is the man himself who was pepper sprayed, tasered and finally shot twice by police. Hamish Clark is at the intersection where the final drama took place. Hamish. Yes, Hilary, there was a scene of chaos this morning and this is where the rampage took place. A Somali man on the loose, armed with two knives. He was attacking at will as passers-by desperately tried to stop him. This is the 27-year-old knife-wheeling man who was shot by police after he allegedly stabbed two people in a random attack. Passerby Jade Lynn jumped out of his vehicle with a heavy crowbar and confronted him in the middle of the road. I offered him a cigarette. I was talking to him to see how he was going, what's wrong and all this. He was just telling me to F off, going to kill you. So that's when I got him more aggressive. And when he swung at me, that's when I swung at him off the bar and got him to the ground, but he got back up again. The drama began at Redwood School on the other side of Christchurch when a teacher and a caretaker hid from the armed man. He hijacked this delivery truck with Martine Robin at the wheel. She was forced to drive across the city and was stabbed in the shoulder before she escaped and rang her mum. All I heard was, Mum, I've been truck napped, I've been stabbed, I'm on the Hoon Hay Road. By now, the man was trying to get into other cars. He had two huge knives in his what hand. Kind of knives <laughs> kitchen knives, uh, one would be a chef's knife, a big one, and one would be a smaller version of that as well, I would say. It was then that Jade Lynn made his move with his crowbar. I hit him off the bar across, got him across there, but that didn't, that didn't seem to do much to him. And then he was threatening to kill me, and then cops came around the corner, and all from there was all on. Got tasered twice, shot, shot probably pretty much dead in front of me and bleeding out everywhere. But the other man who intervened, a council worker, was stabbed and crawled to safety around the corner. Has been stabbed multiple times, uh, but uh, latest reports from the hospital tell us that uh, this person is in a stable condition. Witnesses could hardly believe what they were seeing when the police arrived. He got told to drop the knives, he didn't. Um, officer got a gun, still got told to drop the knives, didn't. Two more officers arrived, one with a taser, one with pepper spray. The guy that tasered him um, didn't get through the clothing, I don't think. So it had no effect, they pepper sprayed him. He made a move, still had the knives in his hand, and the officer shot him. Two shots were fired from a police pistol at close range. As we understand it at this point, he has one minor injury to a wrist and was shot in the shoulder. We understand his injuries are not life-threatening. He deserved everything he got. Just an animal. Police have launched three investigations. The man with the knives certain to face the courts. Hillary, the 27-year-old offender is a Christchurch resident uh, and could be known to the police. Now, we understand that he's had uh, operation this afternoon for the gunshot wounds to his shoulder and his wrist. The city council worker, who is in his early 50s, uh, he remains in hospital. He's in a stable condition. And the female truck driver, now that was uh, Martine Robin, she has been discharged from hospital and is at home. The police say that uh, 20 eyewitnesses have come forward this afternoon. Many have supplied photos that they took on their cell phones of the incident. In fact, one person recorded it uh, as video. The officer who uh, fired the shots, uh, uh, I'm told, is an experienced officer. He has been stood down. And tonight, the offender is being guarded by two police officers in the hospital. And police say it could be a few more days yet before they have a chance to interview him. Hillary. Hamish, thank you.